Welcome back to STL Live. I'm Raina Ray, and we're learning about the Jobs Plus program with Montina Hollins and Todd Gilliard. And when we, Gilliard, and let me get it right. And when we went to break, we were talking about some of the things that you do to help these residents become job ready and have sustainable jobs. So you said one is that you talk to them about um, what the employer is looking for, I guess, mm -hmm. how, to, how, how to dress mm -hmm. yeah. and how mm -hmm. to speak, how to present themselves yeah. at mm -hmm. an interview. Mm -hmm. yeah. we, we, uh, we, do, we, we do a litany of things. I mean, one of the th we work on their resume. We help them take the job description and job skills that they already have. Um, a lot of them don't understand uh, doing a skills resume versus doing a resume to just say, I worked here, I worked there, I did this, I did that. Mm -hmm. um, then, um, you know, so teaching them that skill, you know, uh, also, you know, teaching them to, you know, the proper dress, you know, and how to, I, I think um, in this day and age where it's a lot of stress, you know, when it comes in with a population such as this, um, teaching them how to de-stress and how to leave home at home and go to the job to, and focus on the job. I think that's, that's one of the biggest things and that's one of the biggest barriers uh, that I see sometimes, uh, you know, with people going into the job and, and keeping a sustainable job. We really, really, really uh, take a focus at the Job Plus program that we are changing lives. And when you take it uh, that passionately, um, it's, it's every staff member, every, everyone um, has that, that drive just to, that they want everybody to walk through the door to be successful. And so we all play a role, you know, we are, Team. Montina, Todd mm -hmm. mentioned mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> job success mm -hmm. or success. Tell me some of the successes that you have seen mm -hmm. since mm -hmm. you implicated this program. Mm -hmm. Well, we've actually uh, had residents who have not had a job at all. They have mm -hmm. never been out in the job market. They didn't really know what to do. And, and so um, we have a program, although we have our job readiness training, sometimes we'll make it a shorter training than you would usually have. And maybe within a week, we'll have them come in and do all of the things with their resume and talk yeah. about soft skills and yeah. mock interviews. Mm -hmm. And so we've seen great success in some of our residents going on a job and saying, oh my gosh, you know, I didn't know I could do this. Mm -hmm. I didn't know I could be successful. And, um, and doing that and then getting on the job and saying, I want more. Right. I want something right. better. Yeah. I want a better job. Now I'm really ready for a career. So we, we've seen quite a bit yeah. of that. We've seen some individuals uh, get their GED or high school um, equivalency. And so um, that was very exciting because it was something that they didn't think that they would be able to do. Right. We have um, some clients who have actually finished a college degree. Um, maybe they've gotten associates or maybe they've gotten a bachelor's. Some of them were in that program before we got there. But with our program, with our staff, it has helped them with the support to really kind of push and motivate themselves to go to the next level. So it, it's been exciting. Yeah. And you mm -hmm. mentioned that you expect the people mm -hmm. who work with this project to be mm -hmm. invested and some of them actually absolutely. live there. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. When we first began the project, we divided the development up into four zones and we hired four community coaches, one for each zone. Mm -hmm. And so they're responsible for 96 units, each one of them approximately. And so what they do is they go out into the community, they promote the program, they talk about the benefits, but then they kind of have the pulse on the community. So they come back to us and say, well, some of our residents feel that they need this or this is what's going on or this one's in crisis mm -hmm. so that we can support them and we can help. Yeah. There are 24 Jobs Plus programs around the country, but ours we did a little bit differently by hiring residents, keeping them in the employment for about six months yeah. part-time, and then transitioning them into a full-time right. job. So right there, that's that's part of our vested yeah. interest in working the community, in and it works. it's working very well. We have two or three of our coaches that have done very well. They, they have full-time jobs, they're doing very well in it. it it's, a pro, it's a process for everyone. You whispered mm -hmm. something, but I want you to no, say I, it out No, I'm breaking that cycle. You know, it's about mm -hmm. breaking that cycle. Yes. I'm, I'm excited, we, we have a uh, our youth, summer youth employment that's about mm -hmm. to kick off, and I'm so mm -hmm. excited with that. And uh, we've been working with the youth probably for about two weeks now. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things that we're hitting home, what, what I see in the vision that we have as a staff is the fact mm -hmm. that we, we are teaching them now the importance of employment, but we also teaching them how to 
get how to get that career they want. Uh, I, I believe I mentioned about the young lady that wants to be a botanist. At age 14, she mm -hmm. knows what she wants, and she's done the research. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I just think breaking that mm -hmm. cycle, mm -hmm. you know, and, and doing it at the, at, with the youth is, is marvelous. I you know? wish we had more time to talk. Sure. We have to leave. It sounds mm -hmm. like you're changing mm -hmm. minds and changing then, in a, as a result, changing lives. Amen. So yeah. please keep up yeah. the good work. Thank you. The St. Louis Thank Housing you. Authority helps people helps provide low and moderate income public housing for the city of St. Louis. You'll find them at 3520 Page Boulevard. For more information, call 314-531-4770 or visit slha.org. There's more STL Live after this. Stay with us. Thank you.